So the big picture for this lesson is variability of data. So here's some data of point totals in a basketball game. That's the number of points scored in each game. And you can see it's also down here in a line plot, the same data. Now the lowest number is a 1, and the greatest number is a 34. So what is variability? Variability is basically a way to express how data is clustered or spread apart. And the bigger the variability number, the more spread out the data is. The smaller the number, the more clustered the data is. So instead of just trying to eyeball a graph, you can actually do calculations to figure out how spread out the data is. Now one measure of variability is called the range. And what that is, is the max number minus the minimum number. So the range in this case would be 34 minus 1 equals 33. So that is a pretty big range when you consider the values involved. I mean, if you look at the line plot also, you can see there's a big spread between 1 and, say, 6. And then from 26, that's a big spread. So considering the data here, that range is pretty large. Another measure is called mean deviation. And mean deviation means you find the average or the mean of the data. So you would add all these numbers up and then divide by how many numbers there are. So the first is the mean of the data. And then what you do is you find the distance, the positive difference between each value and the mean. So in other words, let's say hypothetically the mean was here at 15. The distance from 15 to each value is the distance that you would use for that calculation. So you make a list of difference. So you make a list of distances from the mean. And then finally what you do is you find the mean of this list. So you find the mean of list of distances and that is the mean deviation. And so there are examples in the lesson and videos that show how to do this. Pay careful attention. And that's the big picture for this lesson.